Greetings and welcome to my channel guys, hope everyone's doing fine and you are ready for more scary stories. But before we start, please hit subscribe button and like the video. If any of you have your own YouTube channel and you need some background videos, please visit my other channel Monarch Free Videos. They are all copyright free and you can use it in any way you like. All I ask is for you to subscribe, like and share the link. You can find link to my copyright free background videos in the description box. Ok, let's get started. Something watching in the dark. This happened the other night and I am admittedly still terrified by it. I wasn't sure what to do, but I know lots of people post about this kind of things on reddit, so I thought maybe I should post it and see what everyone thinks. I'm writing this on Friday night, 17th of August 2018, but it happened this Tuesday. For some context, I work in an early shift and have to be up at 4 in the morning, so this all happened sometimes between 10 pm and 4 am. I'd gone to bed early and found myself asleep after a while, having strange and unnerving dreams, all of which I have forgotten the details. But where you garden variety and pleasant dreams and played in comparison to what happened when I woke up. I woke up to a suffocating feeling, a tightness in my chest where my heart was pounding. Now an important thing to know about me is when I am exhausted, I couldn't care less about anything. I once thought my beloved childhood hamster has escaped, but was so tired I couldn't get up to make sure the cat couldn't get him. He wasn't in danger, but the point is, I was too tired to care about the most important thing in my life at that time. When I'm tired enough, even the fact that I can hardly breathe isn't enough to alarm me. So despite the fact that my chest was tight and the air was difficult to inhale or exhale, I remained calm. I lay there on my back, hands against my pillow by my face, my limbs frozen in an X figure, like being pinned down. I grumbled a bit to myself sleepily as I blinked awake, unsure if it was time to get up for work. The moonlight was shining through my curtains just enough to dimly lit the room with the blue glow. My eyes adjusted quickly to this lightning as I slowly panned my room for sounds of what could have woken me up. My rabbit, Serant, was sound asleep in his cage, as was my turtle Hertz, and there was no sign of any of the cats having pushed their way in through the closed door. When I finally lobbed my head up, look upwards, ready to go back to sleep, I saw it. Hovering above my bed was a solid black mass in the form of a male about 5'8 or 5'9. He had short hair, his arms were down at his side, slightly out, and his toes slightly bent. He looked as if he's just began to lift off the bed or has been paused mid-bounce on the mattress, leaning towards me at about 45 degree angle. My first thought still half asleep and foggy brained as I looked at the boy's shadow, like that of a teenager was, why is Peter Pan in my room, or his shadow? Ridiculous I know, I'm 20 year old woman, and here I am half asleep with the thing hovering above me and I go right to the cartoon character, but again, I was exhausted from a double, almost triple shift of work that day and still half asleep. A more alert part of my mind, starting to clear from the haze of sleep only a fraction of a second later, echoed a sobering thought. In the same tone of dread, you'd shared bad, slightly unnerving news, a voice in my head simply reminded me, you're an adult. The instant I thought this, my eyes flew wide open. I don't know what it was about this unnervingly calm statement in my subconscious that I did, but this snapped me wide awake. I've never felt so alert before in my life, or so terrified. The thing that had bad vibes rolling off it in waves. I couldn't grasp what I was seeing, but I knew two things were undeniable as I gasped at it. I was definitely awake and this thing was definitely there, real. My mind moved a mile a minute, my first thought was of the unpleasant dreams I'd been having. 
There's an old legend about something that sits on the sleeper's person chest and brings nightmares. It's where the word come from. This legend was my first guess as to what I was seeing, though I immediately ruled it out. I managed to force myself to slide about half a centimeter away from it, almost involuntarily gasping no as I started. I saw a flash of two red dots where eyes should be as I yanked the blanket over my head, regarding my glimpse use. I laid in the dark, wide-eyed and gasping, trembling as I tried to figure out what has been hovering over me in my sleep. I knew whatever it was, it wasn't good, and I refused to risk a peek from under the blanket, lest it still be there. I have experienced a lot of scary things in my relatively short life, from stalkers to wannabe kidnappers, stories from another time. But nothing has ever scared me like this thing. Whatever this was, a shadow person, a demon, sleep paralysis, or whatever the hell else it could be, I hope it will never come back. We all like to think if we were encountered something dark and uh, possibly supernatural that we'd handle it with a level head, realizing the danger and hope of the first nope train to F that will and get away. That's not always what happens. What are you supposed to do when you're trapped between a mattress and something watching in the dark? I always like scary stories urban legends and myths, but I never wanted to live in one, to be a first-hand account of something like that. It's so hard to explain, I just hope it will never happen again. I know most people won't believe me, but I know this happened. I don't think I could forget if I tried. I just needed to share this with somewhere, with someone, even just for my own sanity. Strange things happening. I've been living in the same house for 10 years and over that span of the time occasionally weird things happened, however recently things have gotten very strange. My first weird encounter in the house was when I was about 12. I had been very shy, quirky kid who liked to be left alone, so I spent most of my time sleeping and listening to music in my room. This particular day my nap stretched on too long and I slept through dinner. But because it was a nap I woke up around 4am. I woke up with a weird feeling like a prickly, uncomfortable feeling. It's hard to explain. I sat up in bed and started to look around. But all of a sudden I got shoved over and felt like I was being held down and I couldn't move my arms. I felt something go between my legs and when I cried out for it to stop, it went away. Nothing happened again for another year or so. When I was 13, I was home alone and the lights went out. I have always been the fearless type, so I got up and headed straight for the power box. The power box is located directly in front of my walk-in closet connected to my hallway. As I went to flip off some switches, I stopped before I reached the box and looked into my closet. Have you ever looked into a dark area and see something the move through it? Like something blacker than all the darkness surrounding out and you can just feel it? That's exactly how I felt. I don't easily get scared, but for some reason all my instincts told me to get out. So I told my mom I was sleeping over at friends, lock up the house and walk over to my friend's house and stay there the night with her. I'm 15 now and some really strange things have started happening. I'll go to turn on a certain light in the house and it won't turn on, or if it does turn on, it flickers. However, my mom could turn on the same light and it would be completely normal. On the top of that, my animals have been acting strangely around me. My dog has always hated me, biting at me, not listening what I ask. But recently she's been submissive around me and not like she's finally wanting to open up to me, it's more like she's afraid of what I might do to her. I have never abused her or hit her in her life, so there's not a single reason for her to act like this. Mind you, she's a big dog and if she was standing on her back paws, she would be about 5'4". 
My cat, on the other hand, had started watching me from certain parts of the house. Just a day she went under my bed and five minutes later she flew out from under my bed, digging her claws into my arms, desperately trying to get out from under my bed. When I finally scooped her up and was holding her, I noticed her fur was sticking up in all directions and that she was shaking. I held her and asked her what the hell happened and she made eye contact with me. As soon as she made eye contact with me, however, she violently jumped out of my arms and around out of my room. I was sitting there so confused. I have also been getting pains in my lower back and hip area and I stopped growth since middle school seeing as I am a girl and I started my growth spurl earlier. The reason I am writing this is because I have no idea what's going on. This just happened today and has been occurring for the past month. So any comments or suggestions to help me feel less crazy will help. The Watching Shadow Now, this may sound weird, but I could swear I was being watched. This happened last year, but I haven't forgotten it. It was the middle of the night, I woke up and looked at the time. It was like 2 am and I just sat there looking at the roof. Then I turned around and I saw this thing at my brother's wardrobe. It was dark, but I could still see it there, like it was watching me. My door then opened, it was my brother, and my bathroom light shined at the wardrobe. Then the shadow ran. It freaking ran into my brother's wardrobe, like it was hiding. The next day I checked my brother's wardrobe, nothing was there. This next part happened a few weeks later. I was still awake and I was looking at the end of my brother's bed, where a small light from our mini skybox was lighting up the part of his bed. I froze after the light went black for a split second. I know I didn't blink, it was like the shadow was watching me and ran back into the wardrobe as my room was moved a while after my last encounter, if you could call it that. It's been a year and my room was moved again and for now I haven't seen that shadow again. But there's one thing I do know, my room is apparently haunted. A woman apparently died and she now haunts my room, which I'm still in to this day. This is a true story. You probably don't believe me, but I needed to tell someone, even if they don't believe me. Thank you guys for stopping by, hope you had fun. Before you leave, subscribe and hit the like button. If you have any stories or ideas you'd like to submit, my email is in the description box. And if you need the copyright free background videos, subscribe to my other channel as well, links down there. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.